most issues today are so big that you cannot solve them alone. You need to partner with other companies. Firstly, Rolf, why is thought leadership important? Because at, at today you really need to focus on making a difference in, in the world. I think there's a very high expectation on companies and also organizations to really show what they stand for. So you need to make a difference, but it's also an opportunity to differentiate yourself, i.e. stand out from the crowd and, and, and be seen as a company or an organization that really shape what's going on in the world. And so how do you practice thought leadership? Well, first of all, if you're a company, I think you need to be very clear on what is your competitive advantage. Wh where is it that you have knowledge and competencies that, uh, that m make you a leader in that field? Then you need to, uh, to look at you know, where is there a need <laughs> for your competence and, and engage you know, with the right stakeholders and in the right organizations to really then you know, be part of shaping the agenda. And so what are the key components of a thought leadership strategy? Well, you know, it's, it's multifaceted. And, uh, you know, first of all, you need to have the right content and you need to make sure that, you know, particularly the, the, the CEO, but everybody in the C-suite really feel ownership to this uh, content and, and strategy. Then you need to look at your value chain and, and look at, you know, who are your partners? You know, what's the construct of your whole business? And make sure that you, you focus on the right elements uh, in, in the value chain. And then you need to determine where you want to, to, to engage. And, and, you know, typical platforms would be like, you know, the World Economic Forum, where, you know, the leaders gather not only in Davos, but uh, you know, around the world at the summit. This is, a, is, an, is a probably the premier platform for engaging with partners because, you know, most issues today are so big that you cannot solve them alone. You need to partner with other companies. So, so you know, to have a, 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 a platform strategy is also extremely important. And so who are some good examples of thought leadership? Well, I, you know, I think the, the premier kind of example is probably Paul Pullman of, uh, of Unilever. Uh, I mean, he came out of P&G and Nestle and, and, and he's really, you know, as a CEO of, of Unilever, used, uh, I think, uh, the idea of thought leadership and, and commitment to sustainability as, as a way of reshaping the company. So, so not only has he turned around, you know, and turn every stone of, of, of the operations of Unilever to, to, to gather, you know, everybody's commitment in, in, in this process, but he's also been extremely active on the global scene and, and he's recognized as, as one of the most uh, uh, successful and, and important business leaders today, I think. Other examples could be, uh, you know, Musk, you know, uh, looking at what he's been doing with, with Tesla or, of course, you know, Steve Jobs was, uh, was also often re referred to as, as a person who had, you know, a, a bigger agenda and, and a very clear idea. And he used that idea to, to shape the space for the company, but also to galvanize and mobilize his whole employee force behind him. Well, Rolf, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing with us your expertise. Thank you. That's all from myself and Rolf today. But if you like this video, be sure to leave a comment on our website, dukascopy.tv.